Okay, we are on the third video here for map assignment number four, and we're diving into some new stuff. We're going to jump into the measurement view part of the software, which we have not used yet. So there's our venue. We're going to click the measurement view tab. So everyone in this class is familiar with SMART. Before SMART, there was a program called SIM, Source Independent Measurement. Uh, it started out 1980s, maybe even, maybe even late 70s, but uh, it was a Meyer Sound product. Bob McCarthy was there at the beginning. Um, and SIM, still a Meyer product, kind of expensive, much, much, much more expensive than SMART. And guys like Bob still use it, but we see it here in a virtual format in the program in Map3D. And it's, it's kind of cool because it has many of the same things as SMART. You've got your magnitude curve here called the result amplitude. You've got your phase trace and you've got your impulse response, which they call the IFFT. And we're going to be using all of this to do our time alignment. So let's uh, proceed step by step, make sure we get everything. The first we wanna, thing we wanna do over here is make sure we get the right mic. It's defaulting to orchestra left mic. We wanna move that to orchestra center. And do notice that it automatically predicts on its own, which is kinda cool. And do notice that it's much faster than predicting in the model view, which is super cool. Space saves us a lot of time. Um, we got the mic set correctly. Uh, level time combined, the first thing we gotta do is make sure we get all our levels correct so let's uh let's measure to, to make sure we get the the mains and the subs at equal level at our acoustic crossover and of course our acoustic crossover is that orchestra center mic um i need to show you how to be able to get into um and see the processor really quickly you can go to the processor tab and change things and go back to the measurement tab and that's pretty annoying much more slick over here to click inventory either click the signal processor or hit the signal processor icon and then grab the processor and then hit express settings and you get a miniature processor control over here which is pretty useful thing to have and so we don't want to hear the subs right now we're just going to be listening to the main so i'm muting subs and um interesting there's a three millisecond delay there got to clear that out i don't know how that happened and um let's uh do a prediction and it automatically did it already there's your mains um we're going to zoom in here it's very important we're going to see here just look at the lows 15 hertz to 400 hertz and uh let's click anywhere in here you can click right on the line if you want and what you'll see at the bottom in red is the frequency and what you see in the left in orange is the spl at that frequency we're working with a crossover frequency of 80 hertz what we want to know is how loud it is at 80 hertz at the acoustic crossover and you can see right there that the mains are 108 0.5 dB SPL. That's the left and right mains summing together right in the center. So 80 hertz is 108.5. Remember that number. And uh, the next thing we're going to do is check out the subs. I want to make sure that is indeed what we're supposed to do. And it shows you, yep, we need to mute um, all the mains and open up the subs. So some mute buttons here. Going to mute. Uh, remember that you have six for the mains left and six for the mains right. That makes 12. And we're going to unmute the subs and we're going to do a prediction and same thing. I'm going to click in here and I'm going to find 80 and it is 106.8. I'm going to call that 106.5, which means it is 2 dB less than the 108.5 that the mains had. So we need to turn the mains down by two, right? The mains are 2 dB hotter. So we can just do this over here and just put a minus two in here. And you'll notice it's going to predict every time I type this in. It's going to slow the process down. You can speed this up. This is a good time to go over to the processor settings tab. You can now do it here or there. It doesn't really matter. But if it doesn't have the measurement view open, it goes faster. Um, tab does not go to it, unfortunately. Tab is like two tabs. I guess that's kind of cool, right? I can do that. I just figure that out. So we have now uh, got that going and let, let's confirm. Um, we know that the subs are 106, right? 0.5 at 80. So we want to see what the mains are gonna be, 106.5, right? So let's, uh, let's check out the mains now. So let's mute the subs and open these guys up. And uh, predict. And let's check out 80 hertz and yeah, 106.7. I I I'd call that good enough, right? Right. That's the equal level part of equal of level time combined. 
So moving forward, we got to um, set the system delay. Now in Smart, we call it the system delay. In, in Sim here, it's called the propagation delay. And essentially, this is a delay time that delays the measurement to line up with the reference so you can get phase traces that make sense. And this, you know, in the Smart, we, we do this all the time, right? We hit uh, find delay and that kind of thing. And so here it's called auto and it moves the impulse to the to the center here, zero. And it gives us a phase trace that makes a little bit more sense. Um, and it looks a little squirrely right now. I, 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 I think something happened here. Oh, look, our orchestra, I, I just had a crash. And so it's moved on my microphone, got moved to the wrong one. So let's move it back to orchestra center mic. There we go, that looks a lot better. A lot more sense here. And so uh, we've set our system delay correctly. And I want to bring up my processor again here, which for some reason it just cleared itself out. And I got my processor. So we need to take some traces of our system, uh, just like we would do with Smart. So we are currently listening to the mains only. The subs are muted. So let's store this trace here. Hit the store live trace button. And we're going to call that mains at work, work center. I believe that is what we're calling it. Work center mic. And I'm just going to double check. Yeah, mains at center mic. Cool. So we save that. So we've got this trace here. It's storing it. And uh, it's down here now in a little register that you can pull open other ones up. It gives you some nice information about it down there. So let's listen to the subs now. So uh, we're going to unmute the subs. And we're going to mute our mains. All 12 of them. And let's do a prediction. And there we go. And we're going to store that trace as um, subs at center mic. Save. Cool. There it is. Uh, let me see what's going on in the instructions. We got those two traces stored. Um, cool. And it's, of course, it should be overlapping the traces if we open up our stored sub. What well, we are looking at the live sub right now. The live is in blue. If you want to see your stored mains, open up the little eyeglass there so you can open up whatever you want and you can see them overlapping.